Hi, and welcome back to another, another Strelok C++ tutorial. Uh, this tutorial focuses on functions, and functions are a vital part of C++ because they help shorten up your code. Uh, so we'll get into that in a second, but first I'd like to show you a website uh, with some good information. So uh, this website is formstone.net slash index.htm and I was partly responsible for making it. I was the editor, but so it has in some interesting information and uh, I recommend you take a look. It has a new section, C++ tutorials, here's JMAX tutorials which are really good and these are basically just ice frames onto YouTube but still they're really good here's Mines, here's C. Clarks, he's a really smart guy and uh, you should take a look at that it's about linked list so anyways let's get into functions and uh, as always include iostream using namespace std uh, now let's make a function so I, I called my function add just because it's gonna add two numbers and for now uh, it's gonna be void because it doesn't return anything I'll show you how to make functions return stuff in a second so this function is just gonna say add was called and now and l and that's it simple and now we declare int main add c in get this just gets a character from the user and now we don't even have to put the return zero in because the compiler does that automatically so add c in get so let's see what we get oops add was called simple Hooray, we just wrote our first function. So let's actually make this function do something. So w here we specify what's called parameters. Parameters are just uh, variables passed to the function. So I'm gonna say integer, I'm gonna pass integer number one, or number, int number two. That's it. So now inside this function, we have two variables to operate number one and number two and now here's a return statement and one second I fix this void add into it add, int add because this is this shows what the function returns and it will return an integer so this return statement tells uh, us that uh, this is what the function is going to return and I want it re to return uh, number number plus number two so now when we call a function with and we specify two numbers it's just gonna throw back at us the result the sum of the two numbers so now here we can say add seven comma five and now let's see what we get of course nothing why why do we get nothing because I didn't do anything with it so I'll put a C out statement that will display to the screen the result of 7 plus 5 and that's obviously 12 so how about 17 uh, 65 sure we have a function it gives us the result so using this you can certainly figure out how to do a simple four function calculator you can make a new function called subtract int number and number 2 and you can re return a number minus number two that's fairly easy let's make a simple function though uh, called the factorial because that's gonna be a little more interesting so int factorial int number so uh, we and now inside this function we'll try a uh, long so can we do long factorial long factorial equals um, equals one now we do for loop int i equals one i is less than 
or equal to number i plus plus. So didn't you all remember how to calculate a factorial, right? You multiply a number times itself, then times itself minus one, times itself minus two, etc., until it reaches one. So we're going to do the reverse. So we're going to multiply up. So factorial times equals i. So th this, what this statement means is factorial equals factorial multiplied by i. And i is all of those numbers in between uh, 1 and factorial. Uh, so i number. And now we're going to return factorial. Sorry. Oops. So let's try this factorial 5 right and let's try this and it returns us 120 why because it ran through the loop and um, that's why so see see out please enter a number please enter a number scene number And now you can see out uh, the sorry the factorial of your number or of let's put number is number and L. So the factorial of number is factorial number. So since we have this function that calculates uh, the factorial for us, we can just say this. And uh, of course, I didn't declare number in the scope. So I'm going to declare in number, right? Please enter a number. And now I'm going to say 13. Uh, I'm going to say something easy, 6. And uh, this thing will replace with system pause uh, void because uh, once I press enter after C in, it already said, it already thinks that I pressed enter to quit the program. So that's a bad thing. But please enter a number. I'm going to enter 6 once again. The factorial of 6 is 720. So now you can use this factorial function as any other function and anywhere in your text. So if you want to find out the factorial of something, you just put factorial number. You can do the same thing with a square function. Just make uh, like it a number of the, the power and then a multiplied by itself that many times. So anyways, this was just a quick introduction to functions. I'll show you some of the more interesting things that you can do with functions next time. And remember uh, this website, uh, formstone.net. So have a great time and see you in the next tutorial.